Hi, Dr. Jerry here. I am going to uh, demonstrate how we use the HRV, which stands for Heart Rate Variability. It's a tool that we've added to our office in the past year. Um, as you know, chiropractors are nerve doctors. Yes, we work on the spine, but we do that to improve the function of your nervous system. Now, if I ask you to make a fist right there, or if I ask you to kick your leg, that's motor function. You have control over that. But we are measuring the autonomic nervous system, which is a part of the nervous system that you don't control. And it's a great tool to see how the patient is handling stress or how stress is handling the patient. So uh, right after we do the consult, we just take these clamps, okay? That sounded a little harsh, but they're painless. We just apply that over the pulse. We have the patient relaxed just right there. We already have them in our software. Nine times out of 10, my staff will do this beforehand. So all we do is go right up here. As you can see, it's measuring the pulse right there and the red dots right there. And it takes anywhere from four to five minutes, depending on how fast the patient's pulse is. So we're getting a very good reading. Uh, beforehand, sometimes we'll just spray a little bit of water on the wrist just to get a really good contact with the uh, clamps. So again, I usually just walk out the uh, room, let the patient relax uh, because we don't want any talking during this. And then after a couple minutes, I'll come back in here and I'll show you what, it, what the graphs look like. We're back here with the HRV. It is now finished. Uh, it took about four minutes to um, measure. I'm just gonna take the clamps off very easily, okay? And I'm just gonna explain Real quickly, normally I don't do this on the first visit. I do this on the second visit after I accumulate all the data. But I'm just going to give you a basic understanding of what we're measuring. All right, so let's take a look at Mr. Vision's um, HRV graph. Okay, basically this is his reading. These are what normal should look like. Basically we're measuring the autonomic nervous system. Two parts to the nervous, uh, autonomic nervous system. One is sympathetic, that's called fight or flight or survival. Fight or flight is protecting, protecting mode. We're in contraction. We're either bracing for a fight or we're getting ready to get out of there. All right? That's sympathetic tone. That is fine short term. If somebody's chasing you with a knife, you want to be in to get out of there. But after it's that uh, crisis is averted, your body should go back into balance, more back into parasympathetics. Parasympathetics is called rest and digest. That is the part of the autonomics that heals our body. Now, some people, like myself, we're a little bit sympathetic dominant, but with this environment, especially today, with the environment, it's a very fast-paced society. We're on phone, cell phones, computers constantly, so it's a lot more fast-paced, so we're under constant sympathetic stress. So this is showing that this specific patient is very imbalanced. It should look more like an even pizza pie. This red area shows that he is very, very sympathetic, very uh, defensed, all right? So what we need to do is to show him how to activate the parasympathetics. Simple ways that you can do that is by doing yoga or by getting a massage. And I know that you enjoy getting massages and because of the environment you haven't gotten any recently. Um, deep breathing, praying, things like that. We have brain tap technology here to help pay patients balance this out and get them out of the sympathetic uh, nervous system and back into a more balance between parasympathetic and sympathetics. Also, um, we can also show patients uh, the difference between their chronological age and their biological or neurological age. When people are under stress, it ages the body. So patients really like to see that number to see if they're doing a good job of handling these stress or if their age is a little higher than their chronological age, then they need to got to do some work. So I hope that explains it a little bit. I kept it kind of simple. Hope you understand. But if you don't, please call the office and we'd love to explain it in more detail. Thank you for listening.